One of our most basic methods for binary search trees is the ability to search for values. It's right in the name, so I hope it's important. So let's suppose we wanted to find 14 within this binary search tree. How could we do that? Well, we start at the root always, and I will trace our path with a highlighter here. We know that 14 is less than or equal to 15, so I'm going to go to the left here. I then compare 14 to 16, and I get that 14 is greater than or equal to 6. So I go to the right. I then get that 14 is greater than or equal to 8. So I go to the right. I then get that 14 is greater than or equal to 13. So I go to the right. Oops, didn't find it. That means 14 is not in the binary search tree. There is no other place it could have been in this tree. Now let's look for something that's actually in the tree. Let's suppose I wanted to find nine. If I want to find nine, we're going to do something similar. So we're going to do that nine is less than or equal to 15. Nine is greater than or equal to six. Nine is greater than or equal to eight. And then at this last step though, I have that nine is less than or equal to 13. And I would go down once more over here. And then I would find node nine. So that's how we're going to search. Notice a kind of convenient thing just for our own sanity is that the way I wrote this with always making nine on the left-hand side of the equality, my inequality actually points to the direction I'm going, which is kind of nice. So if we look, the first direction we went was left, then right, then right, then left, and the less than pointed in the same direction and the greater than pointed in the same direction. So that's kind of neat. So let's look at how this is implemented. Here's our tree search. We have a base case of if we happen to have find no child, we'll call that nil. Or if the thing I'm searching for is equal to the key, then I return either of those. So returning nil would represent that I couldn't find it. Returning x if it wasn't nil would return the correct value. And now the next part, notice I have a, just a less than here. That is by convention. Typically things are inserted on the right if they are greater than or equal to, and on the left if they are less than. That is the typical convention. So I'll mention that quickly. If we are less than the key, we search the left part. If we're greater than the key, we search the right part. The runtime of this algorithm is very, very simple to analyze if we just think about what's happening. If we scroll up to the tree, the runtime, what, what is it going to do? Well, we always descend the tree, and the worst we could do is that we need to go all the way to the value that is furthest away from the root, which conveniently we have an expression for that. This algorithm is in theta of h, where h is the height. Notice that that is the height. That is not log of n. The height can be anything, anything at all, between log of n and n. And there's a whole collection of values that could be between there, asymptotically. So the height is not going to be easily characterized for a normal binary search tree without more understanding of its structure. This will be typical of lots of algorithms. They will depend on the height. And this dependence cannot be further simplified. We cannot reasonably decide what it is without knowing more. We may, for example, know that the tree is complete, like we saw in an earlier example, in which case we might know that we are in this log of n territory. We might know it is very not complete, in which case we might be more in this n territory and anything in between. Notice that this algorithm only ever makes one recursive call, so we could easily write it as a while loop. And if you scroll down, we've done that here as well. And the exact same sort of analysis would work. We are always updating our value x to go to the left or the right, and we only return once we are nil or have found the value. Uh, notice I forgot a parenthesis here, so let's quickly update that for you guys. There's a parenthesis that should go there. But this is how we can search a binary search tree. It is the most fundamental operation to the data structure.